for coaches that we work with, visit the description below. There'll be a link you can apply through there. Just click on the link and it'll take you to a landing page. You'll be able to see all the great results that we've had with coaches uh, that we've worked with and you'll be able to apply for a call with us through there. Okay, so don't stay stuck. Make sure that if you need help, you reach out to us. So today I want to share with you 10 ways to increase your soccer academy revenue. Now, I had a call with a coach. This was last week. He is a coach that is in soccer. Uh, he is at the point where he's got 20 clients that he's working with. And he's looking for different ways to add or increase revenue in his business. So if you are in soccer, then this video is obviously going to be very beneficial to you. If you're not in soccer, you can still take what I'm going to share with you today and implement it into your sport. If you're in basketball, if you're in baseball, if you're in American football, Okay, whichever sport you're in, you can take some of these 10 things that I'm going to share with you today and you can implement them into your own sports training business. So the first one is one to one training. OK, so increasing your revenue, obviously, of offering one to one training is a fantastic way to increase revenue, because as we do in our company, what we do is we teach coaches and we work with coaches to create a premium type of one-on-one -on -one, uh, training services where they're, they're charging a premium for this type of service. Okay, so great way to, to increase revenue, create a, a, a number one one-to-one -one training program, which is premium and which costs more than group training. Okay, second one, holiday camps, right? So holiday camps, normal camps, uh, running them, during or in line with holiday uh, school breaks is a great way to to increase revenue okay because instead of working one-on-one -on -one with players now at these camps you could be working with 20 to even 50 kids at a time okay 20 to 50 kids or even more could be attending your winter spring summer or fall camps and you could be charging anywhere between two to five hundred dollars per week for those those camps. Okay, so that's another great way to increase your soccer academy revenue by running a quarterly or seasonal camps, which run in line with the school holidays. Something you've got to remember is when there is school holidays, parents are still at work. Right, they're still working, so they are always looking to send their children somewhere uh, to either get supplemental extra training or just to try something else. So if you provide a service such as a holiday camp where that is a service that you can offer to parents, then parents will appreciate it because that is something that's needed, but also it's a great way to add extra revenue into your academy. Third one is something I've done a lot with my business, and that's running birthday parties. So you might have a, a kids in your in your academy that want to have a soccer themed birthday parties. Okay, there's a number of ways you can set this up, and if this is something that you're looking to do, reach out to me. But birthday parties is a great way to increase revenue. Um, and if you do a really good job with one one birthday party, then the chances are parents will want to use you as a birthday party host. Right. There's a number of ways you can do this. Um, so reach out to me. I've done this with my business and they work really, really well. OK, so third one is birthday parties. Fourth one is merchandise. So essentially creating an academy store where parents can purchase merchandise from you. So in soccer, they could buy training equipment. It might be shin guards. It might be uh, soccer socks. It might be shorts. It might be the, sh uh, the official training shirt. OK, 
Okay, so having an academy store where parents can purchase merchandise from you, whether that be training gear or extras, such as gloves, hats, okay, for the different seasons during the year, is a great way to add a little bit of extra revenue uh, into your business. Now, there's a number of ways you can set this up. Okay, so again, reach out to me. I can help you with that uh, if you would like. Now, the fifth one is school partnerships, right? So going into local schools and running either morning or after, after school clubs. You could even do afternoon clubs, depending uh, on the state and where you are. But I know a lot of coaches that go into schools and they do run a morning a morning clubs. So these are clubs where parents drop off their kids early. Uh, so you might just do games with them. And then after school clubs for those parents that have to pick up a, a bit later, it might be an hour uh, or an hour or so after uh, school is finished. Right. So you can run these morning and afternoon camps after school camps uh, by partnering up with with variety of schools. It doesn't have to be just one school. It can be a number of schools in your local area that you can come in and run these these uh, school school clubs. Okay, the next one is gift vouchers, right? So gift vouchers, one great way that you can do this is if you run holiday camps, Okay, uh, a great way is at the end of those camps, right, you can give parents gift vouchers, right? And these gift vouchers are, a, they can be a discount off your one-on-one -on -one, uh, premium service training. Okay, so once your camp is finished, you bring everyone in and then you can hand out gift vouchers so that if any parent wants to get extra supplemental one-on-one -on -one training from you, from you and your academy, then they can do by using that gift voucher. Okay. So that's another incentive. You can also do it the other way around. So if you do one-on-one -on -one training, okay, you can give your one-on-one your -on -one training clients uh, gift vouchers for your upcoming holiday camps. Okay, so that's another way of increasing revenue because now in, from your holiday camps, you might get two or three parents that now want to do extra one-on-one -on -one training. So that just increases the extra one-on-one -on -one training service where you're getting an extra two to three new clients for that type of service. Okay, so gift, gift vouchers, a uh, fantastic um way to increase your your soccer academy uh, revenue now the seventh one this is something that's very in demand i know uh, for us coaches watching this is in the us has been going on for a while and it's huge which is uh, the women's soccer so girls soccer uh, for uk coaches we're seeing a massive increase in this over the last couple of years but offering girls only sessions is again another great way to increase revenue and get girls in your local area involved in soccer. Okay. I see it a lot with clubs out in the US as well that uh, they don't do enough of, right? A lot of them do get, especially at the younger age groups, they do get girls who come and, and train. But usually it's co-ed, okay? So it's mixed. What you can do to make your academy a bit more unique is offer girls-only sessions. So this is where get only girls uh, come and train in your sessions, okay? And you can stru structure this many different ways, okay? So again, if you need more help with that, I've created a number of content on that because I've helped coaches with that and I've run uh, girls only sessions myself as well. Uh, number eight, increase prices. Okay, so you could do a once per year price increase, which could be minimum, minimum amount um, of, of, a, of a price increase, but it does generate extra revenue into your business uh, one way that i did it 
Okay, so any current clients that, that I worked with, I didn't increase the price for them, but any new clients that came into the academy, they came into the new price. So that way I showed loyalty to the ones that were already with me, but the new customers, they all paid the new price. So that's just another way of increasing your pricing and also increasing your revenue uh, year on year, okay? Um, ninth one, add extra services. So this could be running workshops. Uh, this could be running game analysis reports. So going out and watching your clients play in, in their team matches. Um, so a num number of different ways that you can add extra services to your academy so that you can charge for them and increase your revenue. And then the 10th one, which is something that I did, is I went into schools and I ran a 3v3 tournaments. So you can do events such as 3v3, 4v3, 5v3 tournaments at local schools, okay? It could be for free. All you do is you reach out to the school and you say, right, I'd like to come in and run a 3v3, 4v4, or a 5v5 uh, soccer tournament for your students. It could be during school. It could be after school. Um, there won't be any charge, but the only uh, requirement is that I'm allowed to promote my uh, company to your students and parents. So you, you might be allowed to hand out flyers to kids to give to their parents, or at the end of the tournament, you bring parents and kids in, you talk about what you guys do, well done, great tournament, blah, 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 blah. And you showcase your company to the audience, right? So you just have to make sure that the school is in line with that and that that is okay to do. But that's a great way. I did it a few times with my business and you do get extra interest because there are parents that are looking for a soccer training service outside of school. And if you're providing that, then there you go. You can get an extra three to five uh, paying customers from just going into schools and running uh, these tournaments for one or two hours. Okay. So if you need more help, reach out to me. Okay. Don't stay stuck. Uh, description below this video, number of ways you can reach out to me to get help or if you want to work with us in our sports accelerator program okay you can apply via the link below as well okay thanks for watching and if you haven't or yet make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out